Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Rebecca and I'm a certified health coach here to tell you what my top reasons are why you may not be losing weight. Now there are many reasons, but these I believe are the top five and they are most often overlooked. There are some that you have probably heard about, but I'm going to explain them in a way that you may not have ever heard before. So stay tuned so I can tell you all about these top five reasons why you might not be losing weight right so now. So here are five reasons why you may not be losing weight. Now, I'm gonna go into more depth on each one of these, so definitely make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel so you can get all the in inside information on everything that I'm talking about because there's a lot to unpack in each one of these. But I'm gonna do a brief explanation of all five of them right now, so stay tuned for that. So. Number one, the first thing is, of course, too many calories, right? However, you could also be having too many carbs, too much fat, or not enough protein. So your macro breakdown is really important when it comes to weight loss and honestly, just overall health. Our bodies are different and they require different things. That's why keto does work very well for some people and does not work very well for other people. So it's really important to know your body and know what works best for you and to make sure that whatever you're doing is in alignment with what is really good for your body. Now, the second one, this one you definitely heard before, okay? This, I'm piling actually two reasons into one because they honestly go together very well. And that is not getting enough sleep and not drinking enough water. Now, when it comes to sleep, it just depends on your body on, again, how much sleep you really need. And so it's not necessarily about the length of sleep, it's about the quality of sleep. And when you're not getting quality sleep, then your body is basically not rested, has not had time to basically digest everything, to reset everything, and it puts you at a greater risk the next day to obviously be tired and to be craving food for energy. And it physiologically has an effect on your hunger hormones and makes them greater. In my opinion, it is just because you are tired and looking for fuel. And then therefore you'll be getting extra calories that you may not need just based on that, which goes actually into like intuitive eating and how intuitive eating is a practice over time, but it's just, there's so much to unpack there as well. I'll probably do another video just on intuitive eating, so stay tuned for that. But the other reason is the water. So not enough water can actually do the same thing where you think that you're hungry, but really you're thirsty, so then you consume more calories. And so it's really important to stay hydrated and drink enough water for your body. We don't all need a gallon of water every day, but we do need probably more than the 30 or 40 that the typical woman is getting. Now, the number three reason is gut issues. Now, this could be an actual like intolerance to a food um, that you might not be processing very well, could lead to leaky gut and other issues like that, which I do not believe in doing like a strict um, like clean eating, you know, detox or anything. I think it's just too much stress on your body. And I think there are other very effective ways to get this junk out of your system without giving up everything for any amount of time. And um, the other part of the gut is actually tied into emotions and other things, which you'll see once you go through this whole series, that there's a lot of overlapping that occurs. And so the gut issues could be from a food, but it could also be from something else, but still your body's not processing and assimilating things properly and therefore could just be holding on to weight. Now, the fourth reason is hormonal imbalances. Now this could be a thyroid imbalance. Thyroid is your master gland for metabolism, but the thing is you cannot have one like endocrine organ be off without another one being off. It's not just one, they all work together. The whole body is connected. And actually if you look up like how to balance this and that and what is good for this, it's all the same damn thing of what you need to do, which is like eat healthy, exercise and lower your stress, right? Simply said, much more to that. But anyway, there could be a hormonal imbalance. And also when you age, there can be just natural imbalances in estrogen and progesterone as you are kind of reaching the end of your reproductive years, which can actually happen a lot earlier than what you may think. So it could be many things. Adrenals, the cortisol, again, goes to stress, um, could also be part of that. So could be a hormonal imbalance that is causing you to retain water and not losing any weight. Then the other reason, the fifth and final reason, and this one really is my favorite because this one is overlooked a lot, 
And this comes down to emotions. Now, this does tie into stress a little bit, okay? But it's not just stress of like, oh my God, I'm so stressed out. And like that's causing anxiety and stress and everything in your body that all the bad side effects of stress, but it's also just like being busy all the time, right? Like the stress of doing things, even if they're good things, it's just too much on your body. And what's even more important is honestly how you feel. Like, how do you feel about everything that's going on in your life? Are there things that, you know, when it comes to weight, you could be holding on to this weight because you're afraid of letting something go. You could be holding it on because it's a safety. It's a protective mechanism that is holding on and protecting you from something. It also could just be a past trauma. There's a lot to unpack in this one. I can't wait to go into detail on all of these topics. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure that you get notified so you can see more information. And I would love to know what your questions are and if you have any comments, because I love talking about this. And again, weight is just one part of health. But if we can get this part right, that's kind of like what I call the phase one. You can like lose the weight and then we can work on the other things as well. But the thing is, you're honestly working on all of it at the same time. So anyway, so like I said, I'm going to be doing a series on this topic because I think it's really interesting. And I think we all, you know, are struggling in some way or at different times. And I just want to be here to help you figure out why that is. So I'm going to share with you more detailed information about each one of these. And not only that, but what you could do to help if that particular reason is the reason that is causing you to gain weight. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and letting me share with you these top five reasons why you may not be losing weight. And remember, if you have seen my videos before, I always say, go do something good for yourself because you are number one. Sorry, not sorry, but you are the only one who's going to be here for you for the rest of your life. And so you have got to make yourself a priority. And it's not being selfish. It's being responsible. So I hope you have an awesome day. Comment below any takeaway that you have. And just let me know anything because I love talking to you. All right. Bye.